Leonardo was among the most important painters of the Italian Renaissance and the father of the High Renaissance style. Leonardo da Vinci was born on April 15, 1452, in Vinci, Italy. By age 14, he was apprenticing under the famous artist Verrocchio. One of Leonardo's greatest contributions to painting was his introduction of the idea of sfumato, which essentially means smoky and is a way of producing atmospheric perspective in paintings. Da Vinci became a master artist in the Guild of St. Luke at age 20 and in 1482 moved to Milan and began taking commissions from wealthy patrons. One of the earliest complete works he did was the Annunciation, which has that spectacular background that he had perfected. The most famous work and the most important one that Leonardo produced while in Milan was his Last Supper for the refectory of the Church of Santa Maria della Grazia. He left Milan in 1499 and traveled throughout Italy, working for a number of different patrons. Leonardo's 1503 commission for the Battle of Anghiari represented a high point in his life. It was a vast project, a fresco painting that would have decorated one wall of the Grand Council Chamber in the Palazzo Vecchio in Florence. And Michelangelo was to paint the other wall facing. The project never came to be. During the early 1500s, da Vinci also began painting the Mona Lisa. The Mona Lisa is one of Leonardo's most important works. It's today one of the world's most famous paintings. I can't think of any other work that has so consistently fascinated people. Leonardo da Vinci was a true Renaissance man. He's well known as a great artist, but in fact, he also made great contributions to foundations of science. He engaged in projects like designs to reroute rivers, urban planning, the creation of pedestrian streets in the centers of cities, all designed to cut down on the chaos of life around him. Leonardo went to Rome to work for Pope Leo X in 1513, and he stayed about three years. While there, he practiced dissections and laid the foundations for the study of human anatomy. He spent his final years in the employ of the King of France, producing works for him as well as for other members of the French uh, nobility. Leonardo da Vinci died on May 2nd, 1519 in Ambrose, France. Such was his stature that it was said he died in the arms of the French king. Leonardo is deservedly one of history's most famous painters. As the founder of the High Renaissance style, as one of the greatest naturalists who ever lived, he is someone who we continue to admire today.